Hello, hello, hello. Hello, guys. Is everything okay? What's up? How it's going? On my side, hmm, everything okay, I would say. Hello, Hami. Nice to see you. So, the last time I left you with, uh, we had some issue we couldn't solve, but I solved it. I don't remember exactly what it was, but in the last stream there was something that was still, it was giving me some uh, problem solving, and I actually solved it. Uh, yesterday I wanted to stream, but at the end I had uh, some work to do, and so unfortunately I couldn't stream, so I, we completely skipped yesterday, but it's fine. We can stream today. Uh, today I have quite some time, so I think we can stream a good amount of hours and make some progress, some real progress with the game. Um, so let me just think about what I did. Ah, yes, we had an issue with saving the character position and reloading the character position. Now that it is completed. Uh, so we can, so if I log out here, every 30 seconds the game is saving my status. Uh, it's not saving it when I click on quit, so we should, we should add this. But every 30 seconds is saving my position. Hello Soup. Hello Deline. So if I stay, let's say, here or whatever, and then I just log out, when I reconnect with my client, finally we are, it should be, let's see if it works, but it was working, uh, it was working Friday, or Saturday, I did something Saturday morning, yeah, Saturday morning, I think, I did some fixes for this. What we should do, we should also uh, call the same function when we are quitting the game, right? Yeah, you see that now I'm here, uh, exactly where I left, right? The rotation may be still fucked up because the rotation we are not considering at the moment. So, I may not be facing the same direction, but at least, let's say, assuming that we are on an adventure, on a journey around... Uh, around the, the outdoors here, we could save our position, right? Uh, what else did I do? I don't remember if I did anything specific. I mean, the exchange was actually completed and... Okay, so I think we have to decide what to do next, you know? We have to decide what to do next. The first thing, I think, is putting the save of the character on quit. I think it makes sense, right? So every time you press quit, it's saving your position and saving your character. So let's do this now. So when I press quit, I don't know exactly what happens, but let me go and check. I think it's all client side. There's nothing else than client. Yeah, I don't think we have any server side yet on that. But we, we just have to call the same function, which is... What is it? I think in our player controller, save character data. Yeah, we just have to call this and we will be fine. So from the editor, we should just catch the place where we have the quit. And I think we have the quit inside our main menu. Instead of a main menu, uh, there is a widget which is called. Um, no, there is a window that is called uh, menu bar or something like that. Menu bar, yes. This menu bar is calling the different functions that are specified in the icons. And in particular, is creating a quit icon which is just calling a function named quit uh, I think it's ex I don't know where is this function uh, icon widget is inside icon widget 
Let me just check if he's inside Icon Widget because it could be. It could be. Um, button click, yes, is here. On button click, quit. Okay, when you press on quit, it goes here. It does a save of the windows. It plays a 2D sound. Okay. He has a delay and then he executes the exit. So before this, I think we can also call our get player controller. Our get player controller. Um, right? And we can cast it to play and shift play controller and then we can call this save character data okay yeah so what we should do okay uh, yeah so here we are just saving our uh, our character data and then we are yeah after a small delay of about one second we close the we close the window right uh, we could ask about confirmation like we do in the old uh, game which could be a good idea but for now I say it's just a small refinement so I think it's fine I think it's fine as it is okay so let's look at the roadmap and a bit of what we did and what we have to do. You are asking what is the best way to use SVN on Windows? Uh, well, for me, is um, uh, is Tortoise SVN, which is a free tool, uh, I think under GPL, where you have the um, integration with the Windows Explorer so you can integrate your uh, SVN directly into Windows Explorer meaning that you can just right click exactly as I do as I do here you see all these green icons uh, so if you right click on one of these green icons means that it's under a subversion and you have this additional menu which is Tortoise SVN and you can uh, say select like check in commit uh, revert. I mean, you have all the commands here at hand in your uh, right click, so it's very good. It's very easy. I like SVN because it's easy. I mean, it doesn't make me waste time in thinking on which branch I am and on which sub branch I am. I mean, it's pretty simple. So I think for what we have to do is fine. So my suggestion is to grab Tortoise SVN and uh, and use it. Okay, let's check what we are missing. So we said we were gonna do a release one, right? Yeah, not too far from release one, I think. Let's see what we have. So UI, hmm, UI inventory. I mean, we did it for the bulk slots. Yes, we are missing the keep the equipment slots. Well, that would be cool. It would be cool to have the ability to equip uh, an item, right? Uh, quest is done. We are missing the personal notes, but I think that's okay. Then we don't have spells, character skills, petition, guilds, bodies, help, spells, kill you. Okay, all of that we don't have. Then authentication we can log in, yes. Character creation we have the basic character selection. Quick path, we have the basics as well. Uh, for quest, we can talk. We can give items to NPCs. Yes, it is done. We did it. We can receive items. Yes. Uh, we cannot receive rewards. Uh, well, I think we can partially. I think we can check this, but I think we can already receive rewards from quests. Right? We can receive items for sure because when I comp when I was completing the quest with the Dermorian uh, lady she was giving me some items 
uh, factions and experience. Okay, I think what we should do, we should check if this line is fully completed. And if it's fully completed, I think we can put it to done. Uh, then we need to have the progression. Okay, a bit of progression I wanted to have. So like you are saying, but if you have the progression, then we also need to be able to see our character statistics, right? Our character skills. Hmm. I think we need this window, and this window will not be too hard to do anyway. So let me try to log in here and edit this and go under character skills and say release one. Okay. I think we want this. We want this in release one. Why not? Right? Maybe it's something that we can do now. Uh, at the moment. The character skills. Hello, Maui. How are you? The character skills. I think we kind of have uh, all the information already. It's just a matter of creating the window, right? Let me check. So, what do we have in terms of windows here? We have a Windows data. Windows uh, window uh, classes. So we have chat, character, quest, shortcut, stats. Yeah, we have stats. So map, menu, friends, option, etc. I don't know if stats is exactly the one we think about, but um, so we have chat, character. Character, I think, was divided already in multiple in multiple tabs. This, there was the idea. Character was having like inventory. Inventory is this one, the one that we used up to today, right? This one we have pretty easy. Um, I'm just trying to understand where is our character. Chat, exchange, friends, map, menu bar, options, quest, shortcuts, window stats. I don't know what is this window stats. Ah, uh, window stat is only this one. Okay, now it's the one that gives you the the current status, like how much HP you have, what is the time, you know. System message, system messages. Mm. So, I remember there was a, I think in the inventory here at the top, there was some time ago, the ability to select, but it was probably removed. Huh? I think it was under character, there were like three boxes, but I think it was, it's been removed. So if we want to have another window for stats i think yes right like it's in the old client you have your character and stats window i don't know if you want to put it together uh let me show you what is in the old one right in the old one we have uh what is my old one it's a bit funny call calling it the old one considering it's the, it's the current one So in the old client, what we had, um, I think we had separate for skills and character. That's sure. Yeah, we had separate. One was the inventory window. Character was basically only the inventory window, and stats was the stats. I mean, it was the skills and jobs and magic and everything else. So, um, hmm. 
let me see. Um, yeah, we have millions more icons here at the top, right? We have stats and skills, which is this one. This one I think we should put back. Now, I think in, as we evolve the game, we will probably change it. I mean, we will make it look a bit cooler, you know, than, than this. Uh, this is a bit like just a old fashioned window, you know, with with all the yeah. So I think it should be probably the the stat and skill should be a full screen, you know, kind of separate window because you are not while the inventory you may access your inventory while you are playing, you know, because you want to drop stuff on the ground or you want to see what you have, you want to equip a new item. So you, it, it, I think it's a good idea that it stays as a window. Because you need it, you need it to be interactive with the world somehow. While I think that the stats and skills can be a completely different window. I mean, can be like a full screen, you know, full screen um, widget where you manage better your progression. You know, your maybe also your progression should be a bit better. I mean, it's very hard from to understand from here. Uh, what is my current level, where I'm going, I mean, what I'm progressing at, what are the skills that I'm best at, I mean, it's not that easy, I mean, it's, it's okay, but it's not really, you know, mm, it's a bit small, I cannot really see it well, I don't have a synergy between this, you know, so I don't see if one is connected to the other, I don't, you know, I don't like this too much. And also, when you are accessing your skills and stats, I think is is a moment in which you are not doing anything else. I mean, where you are like waiting, you know, when you are like uh, waiting for something to happen, right? You are not. Mm, I mean, you are not fighting. You are not, you say, speaking with people. Uh, there's an app for you. Hmm. Nice. Yum, 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 yum. Hmm. I get my apple. Um, so what I want to say is that the stat and skills, I think, should be really architected differently. Do you agree with that? I mean, or do you think that there is a way, I mean, there is a time where you need to use this stat skills window in game? I have the feeling it's better if it's separate, you know? So I would like to have like a full screen window, maybe with my character in the middle uh, showing uh, showing the progression, you know, where I am, that it went out my best skills. I think it has to be redesigned, you know, completely redesigned. Now, making a good design of this is not, it's not very easy, eh? It's not very easy, but... Mm, because what do we have? We have stats, like... Like my health and mana are not so relevant. I have them already in this other window, right? Maybe I could have them, but is that really relevant? To have them here at the top? Mm, I don't know. I mean, it could be, but we could try to redesign this window somehow. Maybe I need someone else to do it, not me, but um, what I'm thinking is that we may decide to redesign, you know, this window somehow. Um, like if I take... Um, because stats and skills, as I said, I think it should be... It should have its own, you know, its own page. Stats and skills. So health, for example, health, stamina, mana, all this stuff. 
I mean, okay, but is is less relevant than my progression. I mean, this is something I can look at any time. And anyway, I cannot do much on it. I cannot decide to increase, you know, my health right now or whatever, increase my mana. I mean, depending on other skills. So this is not really relevant. I think the ones that are more relevant, I think, are these ones. So the actual the actual skills and the benefit that they provide right so i think that today if i click here on one of those it just gives me a small i mean like one line a description of what the skill is but does it really tell you you know what happens next no I think all of that has to be redesigned also from the game point of view, also from the game design point of view, because it is an extremely old concept, you know, there's agility, strength, I mean, it's fine, I like these characteristics, I think are, are RP enough, but I want them to, I want them to do something, I want this to do something, like, I want us to do something like for example mm, let me delete all this so for example your agility right so you have agility you have agility I don't know why this color but it's fine what happened something very strange happens okay uh, I have my agility, right? I think agility should have should have a path, you know. Should have a path, and maybe discover, uh, let's say, while you go. But it should have a kind of a path. Everything should feel progression, right? Everything should feel progression. Now, I don't know if you want to know exactly what is happening next, or we don't want to know. But like, if it's hidden or something, maybe if it's hidden, it's better but you should have like your current agility here so let's say that you are rank 15 or whatever rank 5 start from the lowest right you are rank 3 so maybe you can say agility rank 3 and then here you have you know what may happen at rank 5 10 15 20 you know so they could be for example a small icon so if I go under uh, materials mm, no I cannot open this because these are all freaking uh, you assets but I can do this wait I can do this we have the editor open I can do this I can go under material icons magic icons weapons no, not icons weapons. I wanted to get. Where are the is under magic? No, I think we didn't import that yet. Um. Hmm, wait a second. I have to get it. I know where to get it. I will get it just from SVN. Let's see. I should have my SVN here, right? Somewhere. Uh, yes. So under plane shift, art, things. For example, oh, these are all DDS. Fuck, these are all DDS. These are all DDS. Uh, ah! Okay. These are all DDS. Let's see if my other laptop is up. Yes, my other laptop is up, so I can take it from here. Wait a second, I am on another screen. I'm trying to just get the icons I want. So under things, under jewelry, here I should have the one. 
Okay. What happened? Why well, can't I find the the icons for the jewelry thing? Is is under where is where is under the, where is under? Okay, anyway. Just take any icon. I wanted to have a specific. I have a specific icon in mind, but I cannot find it. So uh, it's okay. I mean, I really want to get that icon, but it seems I cannot get it. So there is this one gem socket icon, but it's not. Sometimes organizing organizing stuff is so so weird. Seems easy, but having thousands and thousands of files. Okay, let's take uh, a glyph. It's not very nice. Bracers, bracers icons. Okay, let's take let's take an icon of a bracer. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's take this one. Okay, let's see if I can put this into my picture. Can I put it? No, I have to put it into another picture and then just because paint is the most stupid program ever, but it's okay. Okay, okay, so so let's say let's say I have my agility rank three, right? And then I have like I mean I would like to have like a progression, you know, so like when you are at rank five something happens and then when you are a rank whatever 10 something happens you know and when you are and so on right so let me take this one for example let me take this one So maybe you can have a small number somewhere. I don't know if the number should be here. I mean, rank five. Maybe it should be a small number here. Just thinking, you know. And here you will get, you know, rank five. Rank five, you will get. Maybe this is a kind of a description or a tooltip. Maybe a tooltip will be enough. You know, you will have a kind of a tooltip. When you mouse over this thing, that tells you, I don't know, at rank 5, maybe what you get, you get the ability to dodge, you know, so maybe you have the basic dodge capability, right, at rank 5, and then at rank 10, you know, you get something else, you, you understand what I'm saying, right? So I would like to have something like this more than what we have now. Okay. I would like to have something like this. So that you feel that you feel like a progression while you are while you are doing while you are upgrading your skills. You know, and here maybe it will be something different. I don't know, here will be uh I don't know, double jump, you know? Maybe it will be double jump. So you can jump twice. Or you can jump, let's say, higher. Something like that. And then, and then some will be related to attacks, for sure. So agility can give you, you know, movement. So let's say, Rank 5 you have this, rank 10 do it this, then a rank a rank 10 you have this, then a rank whatever else. I would just reuse the same icons because I I don't I don't I don't care about it now, but like at rank uh, I don't know, 30 at rank 30 you get um, something else and so on. Now we have to think about, we have to think what we want to get, you know, and then implement it. But I think it would be much better, much more engaging than the current uh, just go up and get some bonuses which you don't even know. Let's 
so um, so here you get a dodge, you get a double jump, I don't know, here you get a sprint, for example, you get the ability to sprint, you know, every two minutes you get one sprint or something like that, you know. So I want abilities, yeah, I want abilities, you, you know, to trigger based on your your agility rank, your rankings. So it is what I want. It is what I want. It is what you would do. Because the current agility, I mean, I'm 50 agility now. I'm 52. I mean, ah, you know, nice. But what does 52 give me? Ah, okay, I know that I'm a bit more quick, maybe, or uh, when I hit, I, I'm a bit faster. But I don't really have a sense of progression. You know, I don't really have a sense of getting new stuff. Well, here I want to get new stuff, and dodge would be, for example, press D, you know, press D to to enable it, and double jump, I don't know, JJ, I have no idea, I'm just, just saying, you know, but, or maybe you associate it to a key, you know, you associate it to a, and sprint, I don't know, would be P or something, right, and so, yeah. Now, the question is, do we want these things to be visible? I mean, that you see everything you get up, up to level 200, or do you want this not to be visible and so that you discover you have like a big question mark, you know? You have like a big... Um, you have like a big question Maybe you see the next two. You see the next two, and then you have like a, like an unknown thing. You don't know what will happen. I think it's nicer, you know. And then, okay, on the wiki, everyone will figure out quickly, and there will be a list in the wiki. But, okay, so probably it's the same as putting it in the game, because uh, anyway, it will be available on the web, because someone will, 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 will immediately... No, you know, we'll immediately tell you what is next. But if you want, if you don't want spoilers, you know, you don't go to the to the to the pages, to the websites, and maybe you will not know. So this thing will will slowly uncover for you, right? And I would like to do the same for the others, for strengths, for yeah, right. I would like to have the same for each one. So knowing what you get, you know, knowing what you get at each rank. Now, this becomes pretty big though, because if we have to do a window like this, Hmm. I'm just thinking, but I mean, we have six skills. We have six skills, right? Agility, charisma, endurance, intelligence, strength, and will. Hmm. Doesn't mean that all of them should give you. <coughs> not all of them should give you something. Oh yes, yes. I think everyone should give you something. Otherwise. No one will use the other ones. Yeah, I need I need to discuss it with the other people in the team though. I, I cannot decide it only myself. But do you like the concept? Do you like the concept of this? I don't think it's super hard. I don't think it's super hard to implement because we already have the ability, at least in the old game, to have actions and to have combat actions specifically and i think in in unreal will be pretty easy anyway to implement new actions new animations so let's think about it okay let's think about it because um so we have six skills do we really need six skills? We really need six skills. Because I think that at the moment, endurance is giving you health, 
basically and it gives you stamina uh, intelligence is mostly for spells strength is basically damage um, will I think is the mental stamina and charisma is mainly for speaking with people so persuasion you know and this kind of things so I think that charisma today is not used at all I don't know do we use it in the game is anyone here playing plane shift and tell me if this is used anywhere use mental stamina for craft right yes but charisma do you know if charisma is used for anything today because I have no idea I don't remember if we did anything like this. Now, factions, I really like it. I've always been a fan and a sponsor of factions from day one. So, uh, But also, this is to be rewarded. Combat, magic, jobs. Hmm. Hmm. So, personally, I think that stats should have... So, we could have... Stats... Because if we go like full screen, you know, if we go like having having a single page, having a single page, um, you add some mana and stamina. Ah, yes, because I think that all the intelligence ones, so. Charisma, intelligence, and will are kind of summed up in our um, all three. I think are summed up in our formulas for any of the magic skills. So yeah, so if you boost one of the three, I think you're getting a benefit, including charisma. I was just thinking if it was giving you anything specific, but I would like it to be a milestone. You know, so that you reach a milestone and and you are able to do something. So, for example, strength. Strength is very easy. It's probably the easiest, right? Let me take the... Let me take the, the, the red icon. The red icon, we can use the bracelet icons. I don't know, I just came up with this. But. So, if I take this, and then I take uh, this, likely we have some icons in the game. We have quite some. And do we have another? Yeah, we have another. So strength is super easy because strength is obviously related to um, combat, but it could also be related to uh, breaking things or lifting, you know, or lifting things. So, so your strength number so you are rank 10 now so the next rank will be like 15 so i think it should show you the full list or it should show you also only the next ones uh because you you, you maybe uh yeah i don't know maybe it should show you the full list and then it's a scrollable list you know so it should be something like you should probably have a small Scrollable thingy down here. Um, 
have just a triangle now. Fuck paint. Anyway, you understood what I mean, right? So just just the scroll bar at the bottom, just the scroll bar at the bottom, simple scroll bar. And you can just view them all, right? And it will by default it will stay on the one that you are, I mean on the on the level that you are, but you can go back and forth between these things, right? You can go back and forth without without issues. Ah, mouse design. Okay. Okay. Uh, so something like this, then you see them all, and then you focus on the one that you are at the moment. Ah. Ah. Feeling better now. Mm -hmm. um, isn't double jump a bit immersion breaker? I don't know. I mean, it's not double jump like a like a platformer. I mean, and I'm just saying random things. I mean, it's not that we need to have that particular skill. Okay, so we will find. We will find skills that make sense. Okay, so it's just an example. But you will be able maybe to jump slightly longer, you know. So like instead of jumping two meters, you will be able to jump five meters. You know, so you will so if there is a river you have to jump or a bridge you have to jump, you will be able to do it. While at the beginning you will not be able to do it because your agility will be too low. So it's like if you trained on jumping, something like that. Right. Maybe it's not double, let's call it extended jump. Right? Maybe it's an uh, extended, it's a longer jump or extended jump or something like that. Or extra jump, I don't know, longer jump. Let's say longer. For example, right? So you have a longer jump, you have sprint, you have things like that. Maybe you have more control, you know, maybe you have more control in the air while you are jumping. So, for example, another one could be that you, you can attack while jump, so you can jump and attack. Right, so you can... You can jump and attack at the same time. So that could be maybe uh, also another agility trait. Right? I mean, you can come up with a million of those. It's just a matter of thinking. Right? It's just a matter of reasoning on um, on this. But it's, it's, not, it's not hard. It will be a bit harder to implement it. But finding out good names, I think, would, would be easy. Um, Just searching something, one second. Okay, but anyway, so I was thinking to have in that pan. So what I was thinking to have in that panel is is one page with this. So really dedicated to really dedicated to stats. The problem is. The problem is uh, the problem is a bit of the space because the space uh, in the page, I mean, and, and and the visuals, you know. So how do we want to how do we want to have it? 
Um, why if I'm changing the color and did I change the color? Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, So yeah, 15, I don't know, this one will trigger at 25 for whatever reason, this one will trigger at 40 for whatever reason, and so on, right? Now, this could be one page, and at the top we could have, and at the top we could have a specific button that says something like stats, right? Even if it's stats, I don't, I don't like it too much as a name, but... This one should be like a page that is like this. And then next to it, there should be another page, for example, for factions. Factions should be maybe renamed to standing or to... We have to find a good name for it. But like the second one would be like factions. And the third one and so on, right? And the one that is, uh, that is currently selected... It should be, yes, I like it somehow, like this, right? And then, okay. When it's selected, it's stats, and stats is this thing, and is this wall, what kind of this wall page? Ow. What kind of this wall page, right? So, I think when you select stats, you see this, and you have an understanding of what you have to do next, or why you want to increase your agility to 10 or to 30 or to whatever, and yeah, something like that. Hmm. I'm just thinking, huh? Okay. Sorry, we're just looking at something else because I wanted to see one thing, but it's okay. Um, okay. Mm, three icons. What do you mean by three icons? A three like uh, like the game help. I mean something like this. A three like this. I mean, we could have a three like this and, and description on the right. So yeah, the idea is that it is a tooltip, or it is anyway uh, something that pops up, you know, something that pops up somehow. This pops up. I mean, I don't think it should be fixed on the. I don't think it should be fixed. So like you mouse over this and you see this this small thingy. So in reality, in reality, let's say your window is um, is simpler. I mean your window is like this. Oops. Your window is like this and focuses on the one that you are on at the moment. And well, you could also have like a description window on the right. Eh? You can have it like a simple box here, which is just describing that particular skill. Right? So if you click, if you click on number five, it will tell you, it will tell you here something like you know rank five, dodge, you know, and blah 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 blah. So we can also do it like that. Maybe it's easier. No, so that you just have all the abilities, you click on them, the one that you already have will have a small flag, I don't know, a small 
like green flag or something to tell you that you got it already or maybe we just color differently the one that you don't say would be grayed out I mean the, the, the graphical thing is um, the graphical thing is just to decide at the end uh, I don't care about it too much now I mean it's just um, Obviously, this will also affect other things. I mean, it's not only that you are getting dodge, right? I mean, increasing agility will increase a lot of other statistics, like like the ability to fight, the ability to avoid hits and everything. But I want to have, let's say, at specific milestones, one action that you can make, new action that you can make. Uh, so, so ideas are, for example, yes, dodge, longer jump and sprint, for strength, it could be a specific attack, like a double attack, single attack, or, a, I don't know, a lifting a gate or breaking, or breaking a door, you know, so you can just, just try to use that ability to destroy a door physically, you know, something like that. Um, or you can be able to bend some uh, some bars of a, of a gate and go through or, or something like this, so you, you know, and charisma and such. So you will have here, let's say, all the ones, so you will have all of them. So you will have agility, strength, let me do the same order. Uh, it is actually agility, charisma, and so the order is not this one because they are alphabetically ordered. Okay, who cares? We can have all the physical ones first, maybe. Agility, strength, and endurance. For example, endurance uh, at a certain level could give you immunity to poison. Right? So, at a certain level, you have immunity to poison, to certain type of poisons and such. Right? Um, so I would like to have a screen like this. The problem that we have six. So six is a very big number. I don't know if we can feed them all in one screen, right? Hmm. Uh, so the same for. Um, The same for charisma, will, and intelligence. Right? Exactly the same. Yeah, this will not fit. But something like this. Do you like it or not? Do you do you well, what's your idea on it? I need to speak with my rules guy about this. Let me see if he's online. Nah, he's offline. Nah, he's offline. Uh, okay. Anyway, you got you got the idea. So this will be how it how is the window. So the window will look something like this. All the ones that you already got, and all the ones that you still have to get. Right. And you can scroll it and see what is the next. And you see where you are today, where you see your abilities, you see what you got for each one. And yes, maybe endurance. Yeah, and some will be passive. I mean, we cannot have all of this to be active abilities. So otherwise, it will be one million, right? It will be too many. It will really be too many. If you go, um, yeah. If you go up, you know, you can really be too many and, and 
we start to become confusing. It would be, it would be like spells. You know? It would be too many. But I think that some of them will be just bon specific bonuses or specific abilities or, or passive abilities like the resistance to a specific spell or a resistance to, uh, yeah, to a mental spell or a bonus to factions and such. So I think we need something like this anyway. Okay, let's try to save this and... Let's put it at Unreal, let's call it Unreal Stats 1. Now, now, I would like to do the same for, I would like to do the same, well not the same, but I would like to do something for factions, because then the next one, let's see all the ones that we have. We have, we have stats, we have factions, then we have combat, which is the yeah the combat. Then so um, we have combat. What was twenty four? Twenty six? No, twenty six. Um, And we have combat, we have magic jobs and values. We have magic. We have magic. We have jobs. And values, I don't know exactly what it is actually, but it's really a mix of stuff. Some of those are really not fully used, I guess, but. Um, okay. So these are all the, all the things that we need. Now, the one that I really want to change is stats. I mean, for factions, for factions, uh, I think at least it's kind of okay. Maybe the value should tell you something, right? So, so for factions, uh, I think that, uh, I don't know, I, I don't have a clear idea of I want to have or I want to have factions, but factions should be should be different from. I mean, today is just a list. I don't know if I really like, you know, a super simple list. Um, so factions, factions. Because, for example, today, apart from the fact that factions is not really used too much, okay, uh, but it's used as a prerequisite of certain quests, right? But um, I think I would like to have something similar so that the value, that the value is... Maybe we can avoid the number, you know, because a number is not really representative. While for stats is a bit better, but for factions, I'm thinking more to transforming the number into a script, into a value, you know. Uh, so the value could be something like if you are, if you are minus minus twenty or more, so less than minus twenty would be like hated, you know, so like, and, and, and this should not be shown, right, I think it should not be shown, I think it should be hit, the number should be hidden, I don't think it's nice to show a number for factions, I, I, I don't think it's nice to show a number for factions, I think that for, let me just save it as another name, otherwise I will overwrite my, um, so 
so it would be nice. Iron Hand, Crafting Association, Crystal Order, they are all the ones of the Order of Magic. Yeah, I think there should be like three or four, I mean, ten, le six levels. Six levels or something like that, so I think there should be... There should be something like, yes, if he's lower than that, his hate means that they automatically attack you. Right? So they automatically attack you and they refuse all exchanges like or all quests. So, so if you are at this level, uh, let me try to do uh, maybe something different. Let me try to just say, so if you are hated... If you're hated, the result the result is that you cannot trade. So you cannot trade anymore with these people. They automatically attack you, but I mean I think we will have to be careful on this. Uh, so let's say hostile, you know. Oh uh, no, let's say out attack. Out attack. So they if they see you they try to kill you. Right? They try to if they can, then it will depends on the on the areas, but so no trade out attack and what else? Uh anything else? I don't know. For now I don't I cannot think of anything else. Then will be something like hostile. You know, if they are hostile to you, maybe trade will be difficult. So, like, trade at a higher price, you know. Uh, so, the trade with higher prices, meaning that they sell you at a higher price and you with, uh, let's say, bad prices, let's say. So, you can, but they don't auto-attack you, but, let's say, they are not really, you know. Um, ah yes, the third thing I wanted to say is what I wanted to say. I wanted to say no quests. So they give you no quests, right? Um, so trade will pay prices. I mean, quest okay, but only at a at a certain level, right? So only. Only basic quests, maybe you know, so not the real secret ones or the ones that are important for their guild or for their association, right? And and then you have something like uh, hated, hostile, and then you have neutral. Okay, neutral, I think it's fun. Neutral is where you start with everyone, right? New wow okay neutral I think is fine I mean no no special thing so you can trade you can you know neutral is okay there's nothing nothing happening on you nothing happening on you um, and then they can be uh, favorable you know if they are happy with you so they should be a favorable and and favorable in this case, uh, what do you get? You get a trade with good prices. Yes, for sure, you get a trade with good prices. You get um, you get to do what? You get to well, they can help you in general, so they can give you the higher quest. You know, so maybe uh, additional high gear, better better quests, and they can provide you additional information. So it would be very cool to have some uh, knowledge areas related to. So provide uh, insights and uh, rumors. You know, so things that 
that that you yeah favorable and then will be like brothers i don't know how to say the next one but the next one is really when when they are in love with you so they really really like you um what can we call the last one how can we call it we can call it um the opposite of hated what is the opposite of hated loved i mean but loved is not really you know, you know high rank high i consider it I, I whatever what is the what is the contrary of hated i think it's loved contrary of hate Uh, the opposite of eight is apathy. No, no, no. No, I mean something that is like they really, really you are, you are, you are having high standing with them. Synonyms of love but love is not exactly love i mean it's like you really like the guy amable 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 i mean if you stand at high ranks with someone right you stand high rank with the king the king says you are you are the guy that i really like you are my I don't know what advisor. I mean, you are my advocate. You are my, you know, you are like my brother. So it's like brothers. It's like uh, I'm doesn't the, the the English word doesn't come to my mind. Uh, anyway, hated, hostile. Neutral, favorable. Mm. Nothing comes to my mind at the moment. Adore, adore, adore is nice. If you adore someone, if you really, really like him. Worship, worship, worship is pretty good. Revere, venerate, admire. Admire is also very good. Glorify, esteem. Esteem, I think, is good as well. Honor, prize, delight, honor. I think it's worship. Worship is pretty good. I like it. Uh, admire is also very good. Uh, let me see if I search uh, a synonym of worship. Revere, adore, venerate, utilize, excite, glorify, respect. Respect. Respect could be okay as well. Even if respect could be uh, also neutral. You know, you're respecting someone, but you keep it neutral. Venerate seems a bit too much. Adore, worship, admiration, admire. I think admire is okay. Admiration. Let me search a synonym of admiration. Maybe respect, esteem, regard, veneration, reverence, appreciation, wonder, estimation, adoration, oh, approbation, worship, approval. I think for now we go for admire. Who cares? Okay. Admire, I like it. So, yeah, we can go to admire, and this will have, let's say, this will have different levels. Yeah, I think we have to simplify the factions. We have to simplify it in a way that you are in one of those five states. I mean, having a number is okay internally, you know. It's okay internally for the engine, but I think that people should not see a number. I mean, seeing a number here, okay, I'm 20 blue order, what the fuck does it mean? Uh, 
know so yeah so i want something like this i want admire and then inside admire we will have so uh yeah so if you are trading with someone that you admire you have obviously the best prices so trade with best prices you will have obviously all the the eager quest yes for sure and provide so uh, i think that in this case it should do a bit more so it provide you access so it should provide you access to inner areas of their guilds you know to like secret or like uh, to say to uh, special locations So, like, like you can enter, you know, in a specific area only if. Uh, so you trade with it, but, uh, it provides you obviously all the insight in the rumors. And this guy, the best would be if these guys could really help you somehow, you know. So if these guys could really, uh, could really help you, like, like you can hire them for a quest or something. But that, that is something that is too far away from us. So in terms of um, internal management of this, we could we could have you know um, you could have something like you know if you are minus fifty points I don't know we have to decide now how the points are I don't remember how the points are working in game so we should go and check but it should be something like if it's minus fifty or more. So less than minus 50, this could be like from, from minus 49, minus 49 to, to whatever, minus 25, or minus, minus 25, or minus, yeah, neutral can be, neutral can be from minus, I want the neutral to be anyway pretty big. From minus 25 to plus 25 so i think that new, even if you do a bit of bad stuff i mean they don't hate you automatically so i would like this one to be pretty big maybe even greater than this you know so like before moving to hostile or hated i think you need a bit of a swing you know so you need to really work work for it so actually yes actually let me redo it i would like the neutral to be to be pretty big so to be like from minus 50 to plus 50 and then here it could be from yes minus uh, 100 to minus 51 and then this could be from minus uh, whatever less than minus 101 something like that and then and then the favorable is this it would be the same just the reverse right so it will be from 51 to 100 and this would be like above 100 greater than 100 something like that right now how to display this i think we would like to display it differently we would like to display it uh how do we want to display it um at the moment we are listing only the factions the on which we have on which we have some value so if you have zero value for a faction it doesn't show up which i think is okay because you may not even know you know of that particular faction you don't even know it exists because you've never been exposed to it mm, yeah yeah it would be nice to have an icon for each for each of the factions It'd be very nice to have so to have an icon, I don't think we have now, so I will have to take something random. I will have to take something random here to show the faction. But anyway, yeah, like this one, I don't know, this thing. Um, and then you will have like... Would be very cool. Would be very cool if you could have the list of the things that you did. You know, like for example, if it says blue order, like hostile. You know, 
and then if you click on it um, right if you click on it it tells you it tells you what it tells you it tells you for example yeah you are hostile with them hostile and so it tells you trade with bait prices you know uh, I mean and, and, and I mean it you can tell you in a, in a better way so we can improve the English description not to be so so synthetic but to have uh, only basic quest so whatever so it tells you something and that would be very cool if you could have a list of things that you did to become hostile that would be very nice I think today we don't track this in the database though but it would be very very cool to do it so to have like for example something like during the quest of the five blue gems you decided to crash four of them and steal one, you know? And this could be part of the quest. So, the, I mean, a quest could know that when it's giving you minus five or minus ten points is put in the description, you know, on, on what you did. So, that I think would be super cool. I would like it. I would like it a lot. I would like this a lot. Right, you break into you, you enter, you enter into the inner chamber of the blue order without permission, something like this, and you were caught, something like that. Right, so. This I think would be super cool if we can do something like that. This would be super cool. I already love it. I want it. I want it. I want it. <laughs> Alright. And then it will be all the others, right? So it tells you. Ah, that would be very cool. Very, very cool. I love it already. And then it will be, let's say, and there will be, there will be all the others, right? There will be all the others. But only the one for which you have a standing. I think I'm fine with that. Only the ones for which you have a standing, they will have, they will have, so for example, crafting association, and so on, blah, 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 blah. There will be millions, I mean, one for each. Uh, I don't know if I have enough icons for that, but. I mean, we can take any icon. It will be the I don't know the blacksmith something you know and whatever it is. Now this table on the right will not be shown obviously. It is just our uh, in I mean we know how it works, right? But this will not really be shown to to people. Uh, it will be just in terms of uh, description here, and will be in terms of having our own yeah. Having, having this thing, um, this will be like our uh, our thing. Oops. Okay. It is not shown to people. It is not shown to people. Okay. Do you like that? I think it would be much easier to see it this way than see it how, it, how, we, how we see it today. I think it would be much easier. Much, much easier. And 
then the other ones and then the other ones like combat, magic, jobs and various now combat I mean combat combat should be I think the same exactly the same as stats I, I think it should be the same the same in the sense that it should provide you should provide you you know benefits as you go forward in the game as you go forward in the progression I mean it should really give you um, I think it should give you a benefit and save this number three yeah okay. so I think oops I think combat should be so if you open up if you open up again the stats the stats one we had something like this right um, I think it should be exactly the same I mean, just for simplicity. Obviously, we can make it much, much better. I know if you have seen uh, Path of Exile, if you played Path of Exile, uh, it's a very, very cool system. I will show you. Uh, I played it a bit. Uh, Path of Exile progression system, something like that. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, yeah, it's not very easy to read, but. Let me see if the image is big enough. Well, but basically, um, uh, let me see if there is uh, another screenshot. It's only this. Okay, this one maybe is a bit bigger. Let me see if I can zoom it a bit. Okay, so basically what they have, they have <coughs> they have this this kind of network, you know, of skills. And when you allocate points, you select one of these nodes that are giving you, I don't know, plus 10 strength. And then this one is connected to two others, and so you can select this other one, and then this other one, and then this other one, and you go forward, you know. So you kind of expand your network through this uh, skill tree, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think I like it. I think I like how they did it. Um, so it's more of a network than a list. So what I'm saying is that we can evolve it in the future, right? So we can evolve it. And you see the full skill tree is, is as messy as this. So it's a, and there are specific areas, like there are certain areas dedicated to wizards, other dedicated to uh, combat, other dedicated to lock picking or agility and, and stuff, right? So there is, there is a logic behind this. There is a logic behind this. Um, I mean, our tree at the moment is super simple. It's just a list. I mean, we could make it more. I mean, you can make it nicer to to look at, but at the end, you know, the the result is the same. The result is the same. But I think I would like to have, you know, um, I would like to have something like this here as well. No. What do you think? I mean, we could have, we could have, let me just save this. Um, we could have specific, uh, specific attacks 
you know, happening at specific levels. Now, how games does it today? They even hide that, so they you don't even realize that you are going up in ranks, but you're just getting the stuff, you know. So it's not that you know that you are at level 25, you have to go to level 26. It's just a, in a certain point of the game, you arrive to the cave of the old dragon made of, of glass, the glass dragon, right? You arrive there and you just hit your 26 level, but you don't know. And you get the new ability, you know, and then from that day on, you will always associate the glass dragon to your new ability, which may be just chance, but it is how it went, you know. So, there is a possibility as well. Here we are a bit more still in the old system of, of ranking through numbers, which... Uh, I think that for now we should keep it as it is, otherwise we have to change too much of the game, you know, we have to change too much of the existing code, so I would leave it as it is for now um, in numbers and then we can decide to change it in the future, but for now I cannot change this, at least not now. So what I'm saying is that combat can be similar to this, you know. Um, So combat can be like if you have your skill which is axis, right? X. Your skill is X. Was twenty six or what was it? No, it's much bigger. But anyway, who cares about the font now? Um, okay, if you have your... Uh, ah! Come on! Yeah, working in paint is not the best, I, I agree. But I find it handy at the end, because it's very simple, you know, and very lightweight, so... The end is enough for what I have to do. Um, so X will be, you know, will be similar as well. So you will have specific points in time where you gain, for example, abilities. And you will get, so if I go, if I take whatever, this icon, I mean, we can then take all the icons, you know. Now I think it's fine, but you now you will have your X number one, your X number two, your X number three, and so on. Right. Okay, so and this will trigger, you know, and this will trigger specific abilities as, as, again right so we want we want this to trigger a specific ability uh, a specific ability for your character so for example for example here you will have uh, you will have uh, rank 5 so here you will have rank 5 uh, I don't know X double slash, I don't know, X or, or X trust, I don't know, okay? So when you have your, um, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are giving more strength, you're putting more strength in the way you hit, you know, and yes, and then rank 10, rank 10 will be, is 26, the next 10 will be uh, double hit, I don't know, okay, and this will trigger with a specific uh, action that is queued in the combat queue, right, which we have already, so that we can we can do already, the fact that we have a combat queue and, and such, so, and here we can have, so when you have your X thing is, then you have all your other skills, so, I would like to list our skills this way, I think it's probably better, 
and then had no heavy armor and such, right? And you continue this way. What do you think about it? What the fuck? Right? And such. And magic, I think, will be the... Well, magic... Magic, I don't know, though, because magic uh, already has spells. So, uh, magic, I don't think we'll have specific... Specific actions that you can trigger in the fight, right? Is there any specific things that you can trigger... Maybe magic would be the only one to be passive. Because mm, magic, I mean, magic, you already have spells, so I cannot say that at level 10 you get a specific spell, right? So it's just the power that you get. So, or we add some additional. some additional abilities, but I probably have, I would say no. I would say no. I would like to add abilities only on stats and combat. This will be the two that will have special abilities. All the rest, I think you should not do it. All the rest, I think you should not do it. So we will have, just, just to summarize, okay, let's open again, stats 2. Uh, stats to so we have we have stats which is this one with the six stats specific rank that you that you have the ability that you already got the one that you still have to get and uh, yes and your number then uh, the second one is oops. I have pack, I have combat open two times. Yes, I have combat open two times. Then we have factions. Then we have factions. Sorry, uh, factions, in which just telling you. The faction with a, hopefully with a nice icon that we can make if you are hostile or not. Oh, by the way, here I didn't type the other one, so I have to. I don't know, maybe it can be colored. I don't like this hostile, can be red if it's uh, or, or yellow or whatever. It can be like orange if it's hostile. And can be green if it's you no, know, if it's favorable, and it can be something else. It can be yellow or golden if it's admire, you know. Um, yeah, something like that. So it's not it's not perfect in terms of alignment, but who cares? I don't like the fact that the font is really bigger. Okay. Um something like that, right? So it will tell you for each where you stand, and then if you click on it. It will tell you also the details. And this thing would be super cool. If it tells you what you did in all your history, you know. Like, for example, there will be monsters. Or it will be, I think every, every, every NPC in the game should have a faction associated. Right? And if you kill him, automatically you're gaining 
points against i mean you're you're losing points on that faction so for example here you could say killed 342 blue order members <laughs> maybe it's a bit too much but just to say that yeah Let's say that you kill two. So you kill two meaning NPCs and not meaning players because player can log on ATU on a completely random point of view. But for uh, uh, NPCs, we have a chance to say if and why and how they hate you or love you. So. That would be pretty cool to have. What do you think? Hello, people. I see a lot of new people join the chat. So, if you can say hello in the chat, it would be nice. So that we can, I know who you are and uh, we can uh, discuss a bit. What I'm doing, I'm trying to redesign the. Um, stats and skills window because as it is today I think it's very bad it's just a very small window uh, that pops up in the game but it's not really it doesn't really look nice uh, I can show you what it is in the old game in the old game is just this small window where you have everything a bit packed and it's just numbers I mean you're not really getting an understanding of what is each thing you know what what is I mean what does it mean exactly to have 20 in blue order I mean it's not very clear what it means to have 13 agility is not very clear so um, so I'm trying to redesign hello Tua Tua I need you on this one because uh, you are uh, formerly and currently rules so uh, I'm trying to redesign the stats and skill window it is this one which is one that I think we should really change because I don't like it as it is I think it's uh, too I don't know too whatever it's too packed it's not understandable I don't know why you have let's say this big health and mana at the top which okay you can see also in other windows like you can see here in the, the stats window and anyway with health and mana is not much you can do I mean, you cannot really change it so I mean yeah, it's good to see it but it's not the first thing that you need so I was trying to reorganize I was thinking to reorganize this window somehow and the way I'm trying to reorganize it is the following so you have you have a stats window so the the window first of all is full screen okay so because the point is that when you enter that window you are not doing anything else you are not in combat you are not dropping items you're not I mean if you are looking at your stats usually you are in a quiet place you know you are in a yeah you are you are in a quiet place in town I mean and you have time so it's not important that he has is a small window uh, that it tiles with others it can be a full screen window okay so this is what I want to have a full screen window now for the stats i would like to have specific points in time uh, associated to a rank so specific ranks like for example rank number five rank number 10 rank number 30 for agility which are giving you some abilities or some bonuses okay but it should be explicit so for example at rank five you get the ability to dodge right and I don't know, it's giving you plus 10 in dodging, whatever, right? Uh, at rank 10, maybe you get the ability to have a longer jump. So you jump, you jump more, you know? At rank 30, you get sprint, right? And so you're able to sprint. Like for every two minutes, you can press a key and you run faster for 10 seconds, something like that, right? So I would like to have abilities, and the same for strength, for endurance, for, for charisma, for will, for intelligence. So it should be more meaningful, the progression in the stats. 
should be more meaningful, right? And obviously, we still keep the, the current uh, use, right? So it's, as you increase in agility, it obviously improves your ability to fight and all the other things that we are already doing in game. That's completely fine with me. But I would like to add, again, specific events. So the guy would say, oh, I want to reach agility 10 because I get a longer jump. Or no, I don't want to do this. I want to go in strength because at 25, I get... Uh, the ability to crash crash a door just by by pushing on it or just punching it, you know, whatever. So I get an ability to destroy a door by punching. Do you understand the concept? So the the stats window will be something like this. So with a list of your rank, the what is happening in the next ranks. And the description of each, if you click on one, you get the description window. So if you click on this one and this five, you know, you get this description window on the right. And in theory, you could have many. So there could be a scroll bar at the bottom that tells you what are the next. And some of the next may, may even be unknown. What do you think about it, Tua? Makes sense? Yes, exactly. So stats have meaning. Now the second one, factions. So for factions, for factions, what I would like to do, I would like to simplify a bit the levels. Okay, so I would like to have five levels, which you see here on the right. The players, the players will not see this, so it will be like without, right? But we know it internally, right? We know internally what it is. So for factions, I would like to have something like five levels. Then we can discuss. It can be six, it can be three, it can be ten. But I think five is good. So the first one is hated, which means that you are at minus 100, one or more. So minus 200, minus 300. And you get, as a, as a disadvantage, you get, for example, the fact you cannot trade with this guy. So the trade window will not be enabled. Or the banking window will not be enabled. Uh, they potentially, if they can attack you, they will auto-attack you. Because they know you are an enemy. And they will give you no quests. So you will not be able to do any quest with these guys unless you are tricking them, which is okay. Another thing that we can implement, you know, so like you are under covers and and they think you are someone else. But they say if if they can identify you, so if they know that you are hated, um, yeah. If they if they think you are hated, then then this happens, right? Then. If you are hostile, so from minus 100 to minus 51, uh, you can trade but with bad prices. So you have a disadvantage in prices, like everything costs more or costs a bit. So you, you will have to go to people that are having a better trade with you. Um, and they will give you only the basic quest. So some quests may be prevented. Right? I don't know how many, which ones, I mean... You will have to decide. I mean, the rules and setting things will have to decide, but a certain quest will be prevented. Okay, neutral should be a pretty a pretty big range, so it should be pretty easy to stay in the neutral. Even if you do a few bad things, uh, should be good to be should be possible to stay in this range. So maybe this one would be even bigger, you know, even bigger than 50-50. That should be pretty big range, like you know, 200 200. We have to decide. But before Switching from neutral to hostile, I think you should take a lot. And the same from neutral to favorable should take quite a bit. So it's not something that you obtain doing two things, you know, but maybe doing 10 things or 20 things, and then you, you change your, your status. Uh, so neutral, I mean, basically is nothing. No, no difference. I mean, you can do everything with this guy, and you have decent prices, and you can do quests, you can do whatever. Now that it's favorable, favorable means that uh, you can trade with good prices, you can get basically all the quests, and maybe they also provide some insight. So when it would be nice to have some knowledge areas with, with faction points, 
so that we could have you know uh, some insight that they can provide only if you are favorable to them and then the last one is admire more than 100 points meaning that I mean that you get the best prices possible when you're trading and you get uh, maybe they can, they can provide you access to special locations like there is the inner area the inner sanctum whatever the special place you know uh, the guild only guild only area they they you can go there if if you are in admire or in that case if you complete a specific quest i don't know but you know and so the win so this is just our internal stuff okay the player will not see this the play what the player will see will see this so we'll see we'll see the faction for which he has some points positive or negative all the neutral ones i think should not be shown because otherwise you have a list of one million uh, and also maybe you don't know all the factions in game so you should only you should only list the one that are positive or negative uh, so blue order for example you are hostile if you click on it it will tell you this so it will tell you that for example hostile you are trading with great prices you're only having the basic quest so it gives you a bit of the description that you have on the right that would be very cool but i don't know how to do it yet it would be very cool to have a list of what you did to obtain this hostile status for example when you are executing a quest you know and you decide to take one path or the other inside a quest when he says like give 10 faction points to to this guy uh, to the player in addition he could have also a description like a note like we having note now there could be a note for the faction points and then we will store that and put it in this window so that you know why you are why they are hostile with you and i was thinking also that you could have let's say you could have uh, every every npc can have a faction and if you kill it automatically you lose point in that faction And that can be tracked in some terms of stats somewhere, right? Okay, but this point is is a bit of a wish at the moment. The second part is a bit of a wish because we don't have the mechanics to do it in game. Yes, the the, the number will be hidden. I, I don't think we need a number. A number, uh, I don't like it. Yes, the number will be hidden. Do you think we should be shown? Like you know that you are like ninety nine. You are, you are like ni minus 99 and so you know that if you do one more thing you go to hate it or but it's not near, it's not really role play you know I, I feel a number is breaking a bit the immersion of, of the game so I mean the only advantage would be that you know if you are at the border you know if you are at the threshold of becoming hated you know, we could place uh, we could place uh, marks. You know, saying so like we could have like marks here, like one mark, two marks, three marks, four marks, six marks. I mean, and and you know that if you have too many marks, you go to the next, you go to the next uh, level, which would be hated. I mean, marks would be okay with me, but numbers. Uh, number in this thing is a bit disruptive while I have no issue in having number in the stats I have a bit of a problem in having numbers in the factions so I don't really love it maybe we can have marks right? okay next will be combat combat for me is the same as stats so in the sense that there should be some um, some actions, yeah, or plus or minus marks, yes, maybe plus or minus marks. To the, but in combat, there should be some action, some specific ranks that are giving you, uh, they're giving you things, you know, abilities, abilities. So, for example, at rank five, you get X trust. At rank 10, you get a double hit. At rank 30, you get something else, you know. 
uh, weird wind of waxes, whatever. And you, and this is something that we can queue into the combat queue, right? This is something that we already we already have somehow. Yes, ability unlocked at certain ranks, exactly. This is what we should do. Now, magic and jobs, I think they are different because magic and I mean magic, I didn't do magic and jobs yet. Okay, so I didn't do it yet. So I'm thinking about it. But magic, I think let me save it to number four. But magic, I think a magic should be um, just a simple list because um, magic already has spells, so there is no reason to have to have levels, to have abilities unlocked at a certain rank. Right? There is no, it is not possible in magic. It is not possible in magic. So. Or we transform magic into the into the magic window. I mean into the spell book. Because magic today is this, is only this. Magic is a list of six ways. Is a list of six ways uh, plus anti-magic. And your progression towards that goal of having more and more and more magic. Right? Anti magic is not currently implemented, so GG. So it's just the other one. So it's six, like six now, but. So what do we place in this window? I mean, we could place just the list of uh, the six ways, so very simple. So just as your way, just saying as your way, and then your wow, so big. Forty-eight is too much. Um, I mean, you can have your as your way and your rank and rank thirty, and that's it. But what is the good of this? I don't know. Blue way, rank 50, crystal way, rank, rank 100, and so on. So, by red way, rank uh, 5, I'm very shitty in red way, dark way, rank 66. What I'm missing? Crystal blue, red, and brown. Brown way. Rank 10. Okay, so. Okay, but. Mm. What do you mean that in magic you already have ranks? I mean, in, in everything we have ranks. I mean, you will have ranks in combat, in factions. What do you mean by we have ranks? I mean, I'm just thinking to in this window what to have because you you just see. I mean, you go to magic and you see a number. You know, you, you go to magic and you see as your way rank thirty. Okay, thank you. What does it mean? What does it mean? What what what, what, what this number does for me? What this number does for me? What what can I do with this number? We unlock realms. Can we do we do we unlock realms based on ranks? How do we unlock realms today? I don't remember.
Do we have a meeting in game? Wait just a second. Someone is saying that we have a meeting in game. Why are there two live streams? Why there are two live streams? I don't understand. I think I messed up. I messed up something here. So there wasn't a real event. And another real event? I mean, why there are two? I think I messed up something probably. Do we have a do we have a meeting in game now? Do we want to do a meeting in game now? I don't know. I deleted it, maybe I deleted it. I can put it back. More than tell me what you want to do. Are we having a meeting in game now? I don't know, there are a few players online anyway, so I think it's better if I work on the game. I mean they can join me, they can join they can join the stream and we can dis we can do it on the stream. We can do it on the stream. Tua, tell me how do we unlock the re the realms today? Uh, we unlock by rank, eh? Ah, this is very nice. So we already have a kind of event. Okay, nice. We unlock every 20. Do we have more than 5 realms? The maximum is 5 at the moment, but I think... Uh, um... Uh, wait a second. I want to do something. Uh, let me check one thing. How do I go to the... <sighs> one second. Too many websites. Too many servers, too many websites. <laughs> too many, so we have so many freaking websites. Uh, so is so our internal one is here somewhere. Oh, I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! I was searching our internal uh, web console. I found it. Okay, so uh, crafting. So this, okay, so rules, spells. Uh, for example, realm up to five. Yes, we go. Today we go by realm, and we have, let's say, five realms. I'm just checking all the thingies. We have up to realm five. One, two, three, four, yeah. We have up to realm five on each of the ways, right? You want the SVN URL? Uh, the SVN URL. I mean, the SVN of uh, the SVN of uh, SVN of Unreal. The SVN of Unreal is the following for the one who have access, by the way, because it's not. 
want. Not that everyone has access. It's this one. I gave it to you on uh, IRC. So what I was saying, sorry, what I was saying, I got got lost. Uh, I got distracted. So we were saying that we have, we have, we have, we have, we have realms. Okay, so we are already splitting, splitting by realm. Hmm. We are splitting by realm every twenty. Every twenty, it means that with five realms, we only arrive to one hundred skill. Though, what, what happens after one hundred? So you are not. Because I think in the original rules there was more than that, right? It was like ten potential or eight or nine. Uh let me check. Magic. Magic. Magic rules. Aha! Uh -huh. We have a we have a document. Look at how organized we are in this game. We have a document for magic rules. Created the first time in 1997. Can you believe it? 1997. Some of you would not were not born yet. Okay. Anyway. Um, so these are the freaking ways. Okay. Um, I don't know if this document is fully up to date, by the way. But uh, um, I'm spoiling all the glyphs. Okay. I'm spoiling all the glyphs. Uh, but is there a max number of realms here? Because it's just a list of spells, eh? It's just a list of spells. Uh, researching a spell? No, it's not a list of spells. Uh, glyphs, blah blah blah. Researching a spell, spell book. Man and cost. These are some of the. No, it's not freaking freaking anyway. List of glyphs. Um, a list of spells. Um, do you remember? I mean, if we have how many realms? Uh, from one to eleven. Okay, the original idea was to have. From 1 to 11. So meaning that every 20, if you unlock every 20, you will reach 200. Right? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? So what we could have, what we could have in magic... I don't know, we could have an example of the spells that you could unlock, or you, I mean, I would like to make it more meaningful, you know, more meaningful for the people, to, to look at, you know, more meaningful, more, more meaningful, I would like to make it more meaningful, so that they look at it and say, uh -huh, I understand what I, what's happening, you know, so we could have like a small gem or something. We could have a we could have a we could have a small gem and and we can say and we can say that like unlocks rail number one, something like this. I don't know. I guess I don't so when do you unlock the realm number one? I mean immediately, right? So if you have rank one, you are in realm one. Then if you are at twenty, you unlock. Yeah, realm one is one. It's zero to nineteen. Ah, uh, zero even? Wow, you can cast with zero. Should fizzle all the time if you have zero. Okay, so we could have something like Azure Way. Rank 30. I mean, what, what if we do it more visually, like... Uh, if we do it a bit more visual, like with a small jam, you know? 
small gem, your current rank. Okay, your current rank could also be here. Okay, fine, but and then maybe uh, the fact that this small, I mean, this is the it is what you're going to unlock, like unlocking. We on three, four, and five, something like that. So So in the same way in the same way that we have for this for the craft like here, you know, you have like the same like is one icon for each the difference is that in this case is is every 20 I'm just thinking but yeah I think it should be the same and so then the, the the organization of the organization of the window can be the same could probably be the same with the difference that here you have actually you have zero because I mean, so you can cast any spell at at rank zero, right? If you have, because you said you have zero rank. Oh my God, this thing! You have zero ranks for for realm one, so you are actually able to cast spells at rank zero. So this one will be zero. This one will be twenty. Um. This one will be 40, this one will be 60, and this one will be 80. So this is how it is now, right? Already, all the um, spare one can be cast at zero. Okay, nice. Very nice. So you could have this at the beginning. Now, is it meaningful? I don't know if it's meaningful. I mean, does it make you feel good if you see it or not? That is my question. I mean, it could say... Um, I mean, it could say rank 20 unlocks realm 2 of blue way spells something like that and maybe it can give you also some examples do we want some examples or, or not maybe not because we don't want to spoil which kind of spells you can find right but we can have a small description like like you control I don't know you control Whatever the mind, mind, you control mind and elements. I don't know, blah blah blah. Eh? Better in this and this way. So we can create a description, maybe. We can create a description for each of these five events, which makes the people feel a bit good, you know, about the fact that they reach that particular level. And we could have the same for. Uh, we could have the same for uh, uh, blue way, crystal way. I mean, we have we have six to do, so I think it's fine. So everyone will have his own small triangle, small gem. I mean, we need a gem thingy to, to we have to design, you know, gem thingy. Actually, I'm gonna switch blue and crystal, but it's fine. Um, I mean, this is something at least, because at the moment it's just a number. At least it's something, you know. I wanted to, again, I wanted to make it a bit more meaningful for the people, so that they... When they look at it, they say, oh, I'm making some progress, not just looking at the number. I don't like that it looks just at the number. I, I, I don't like that. 
but I placed it slightly above and now now I'm in trouble okay. ah god okay we got the idea we got the idea boys I don't have to do it right, huh? It's just that we got we got the idea. Do we want to do it right? I don't know. I mean, it was just to simulate it. Uh, it's not that we have to make it perfect. I will then make it uh, right in uh, in Unreal. I mean, in the the actual engine, right? So now we just we just to see how the window would look like if we put all these numbers and all these things in one place. I want to get a feeling of by the way, it looks way more blue, and this looks way more azure. Right? Okay. I mean, it will look like something, something like this. Yeah, to give a visual. And to give a bit of a description, we need a bit of a description so that people get a sense of get a sense of what they are doing, what, what what is the point, you know? Get a sense of what they are doing, why they are doing this. What is the benefit of what is the benefit of, of ranking up in, in a specific um, Maybe we can have glyphs instead of these small icons. I don't know. Do we have do we have an icon for a realm? I don't think we have icons for realms. Sorry, I mean uh, icons for uh, ways. Icons for ways. Okay. Maybe something like this, and so on, and so on. Um, I don't know if it will fit because it seems that we are. Oops! It seems that we are using a lot of space by doing this thing. I mean, it will fit in one full window, but I don't know if we are. Does it fit? I mean, is it is it too much to have six? Should be okay. Ah, uh, you have to change the background all the time. Otherwise, when you cut off, when you cut, you are getting. So we look a bit like this, okay? I just want to get a feeling of how we look. It would be too many numbers, you know, and annoying to look at. It's a bit too many numbers, I have to say, but it's a bit too many numbers. Should you have should you have a, a kind of a progression bar? I mean like imagine that you have at the bottom you know, uh, maybe of the same color that you have your thingy. You have like a progression bar of where you are, or here, or 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 even in the middle. I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense, but. To have like of a progression or a, or a because it is valid for everything eh? or, or, it, or it's just that is there is light up I don't know we will think about it maybe we can make it one way or the other I don't know. We, can, we can make it we can find out a symbol for each I 
I don't like too much the number. I mean, at the end, there are so many numbers that it seems to be a bit confusing. No? Unless we box it somehow, but it's, it's a lot of numbers in one screen. Maybe we can remove the numbers and put the numbers only if only if you are clicking on it or something like that. So to have just the just the visual progression, just the bar, you know, and and put it in that because it's, uh, I mean if if I put everything here, it will be a lot of numbers. I tell you, it will be a lot of numbers. We not already a lot of numbers. I mean, we are only too dark. There is another one down. There is another one down. Is it too messy? What do you think? Seems a bit messy to me. Seems a bit messy. Yes, maybe an icon, yeah, some icon or some nice graphics would be good. But for sure there will be, let's say, one, oops, for sure there will be five, at least five for now, of this markers that mark the the mark the realm right at least five of these markers that are marking the realm I have the feeling it's too many numbers. I don't know, I have this feeling it's too many numbers. The result is a bit messy. If you could have maybe to avoid the numbers and just show the progression with the bar and then show the number only, only when you click on it, I think it would be better. So I have the feeling it's too many numbers. Okay, so it will be something like that. It's a bit confusing to look at it, but it's a bit confusing. Maybe with the right icon and with the progress bar, you know, if we have, um, again, if we have a progress bar of the same color that is showing you, you know something like that and like this you know you are you are like uh, like if you are at 50 you are like here so this will be 50 and this will be 30 I don't know and so on Yeah, maybe with the bars looks a bit better because it's less messy. I mean, it gives some consistency to the to where you are. It gives a bit of consistency to where you are. This would be like rank five. This would be well, rank one hundred. This guy is super good at crystal. One hundred is above the range. He did everything he could do. I mean, I don't even know if you want to to draw it. Probably not. He did all of that. In fact, he went transformed into.
Hmm, do you think it's okay? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's okay this thing? Sixty-six, and then brown rank. Brown way. Which kind of color I placed in brown way? It looks more. Did I use this? No. Which kind of color I used for brown? Use this, huh? Okay. Damn. Okay, will be something like that. I don't know. It's a lot of numbers. I think that is less satisfactory than the other ones. I mean, the other ones are more satisfactory to me because I see, let's say, what happens at specific rank, and I see here, and there are maybe less in a, in a, in a, in a window. I don't know, but... Um, Factions is pretty clean because he has only the list. Okay, let's leave it as this for now. Anyway, let's leave it as this. I, I don't think I can make it better than this for now. And then what's left? Jobs and various. Well, jobs and various are jobs and various. Jobs and various. Those are um, jobs. Well, the problem with jobs is there is an infinite list. It's very, very long. I mean, you could have a lot. You could have alchemy, armor making, X making, baking, blacksmith, blah, 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 blah. You have all of this. You have so many. So there should be like an infinite list of... What do you... Again, what is what is the 30 doing for me? What is the 100 doing for me? Nothing. If I know I'm 30 alchemy, okay, then what? Then what? I think we should have a mastery of some kind or a apprentice level, initiate, you know. Apprentice, Initiate, Novice, Master, Grandmaster, something like that. What does the 30 do for me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think you should have titles associated to titles associated to each of this should we make it should we make it the same as oops should we make it the same as this one like with milestones every so much I mean is there a is there a specific list of items that you can craft at a specific Rank or how does it work today too? Uh, if you are still here, how does it work today when you are a uh, crafter? Okay, I know there is the difficulty associated to the item, right? So it's calculated based on that. But do you unlock items at a certain rank or not? Because I know there is a yeah, there is a minimum requirement, right? In our files, if I remember right, there is a minimum requirement associated to certain items require certain skill because at least we could have the list of the list of items you can craft you know that would do something for me i mean that would be meaningful to me 
um, let me save it as five and let's change this to jobs are these jobs equal to crafting 100% or not? Oops. Is jobs equal to crafting? Yeah, but there is always a primary skill, right? I know there is combination, but there is always a primary and a secondary. So, um, yes. So I think there is a primary and a secondary in our files. And let me try to see if I find one of, our, one of those files. If I have it anywhere. Um, I don't think I have, ah yes, yes, I have it, I have it, no, yes, yes, I have it, I have it. Spoiler alert! Okay, don't take it, don't take a screenshot now, please. No, you can't if you want. There's no, there is no big secret. Uh, so there is one of example files that we have for crafting, and so we have we have we have we have a minimum rank, right? Let me just remember how this works because I've seen it some time ago, but. Uh, so we have okay the item itself. We have the minimum. No, this is just the result, right? This is just the result of the transformation. Okay, fine. But the point is uh, process data, right? Process data, I think, is the one that keeps the skill right primary skill okay i think we should we should not give too much uh, emphasis to the secondary skill because if we make it too complex i mean it will not be very easy to understand on the screen but i think what i would like to do i would like to say for example i can do a query on the database showing you know i could do a query I could do a query to display my it in my in my SQL, right? And so I'm checking what I'm sh I'm checking trade processes. So from trade pro, I think I have a way. You know, if I if I check, so primary skill ID, primary skill minus so um, minimum, right? So if we do a if we do a check, if we do a if we do an extraction somehow, and we can pre-parse it, I mean we can we can find a way, right? But we can uh, uh, just a second. Let me think about it. Trade processes. Uh, let me do something like this for a second because it is just this the test database, so there is very very little. There is very little, but if, for example, if I do primary skill ID, for example, with primary skill ID 39, which I guess is cooking in this case because it is mixing. So, with primary skill ID 39, I know the one that when I have skill 30, I'm able to do these items. Right, 
and the work item, the equipment ID, the uh, do I get also the final item here? Uh, hmm. You know, the problem is that this is just the process, right? But the process can be used for multiple items. Uh, this is a problem, though. Because what I wanted to do, but I think it's probably not possible with the current system. What I wanted to do is something like... It's something like exactly the same as you have on the other side. So, for example, cooking. For example, cooking. Yeah, the problem is that we have so many that this will be a freaking mess. Because would it be nice to have, you know, you know what I'm thinking, right? It's just that I, I, I don't know exactly how to, to do it, to do the query in our database to create that, but let me take a cooking icon of some kind. Uh, distro repository, plane shift, art. Thanks. Filter cooking. Now it's under tools. I'll say tools. Mm. Wait a second. Thanks. Cooking. There is no cooking. Yeah? There is only tools. Uh, tools alchemy. Tools kitchen, okay, tools kitchen, tools kitchen, we have a cooking place, nice, I like the cooking place, cooking place, this one, okay, so, so, uh, right, so a trank, so what, what, what I would like to do, but I don't know if it's very easy, it's probably, it's probably impossible, but, Let's say to say at rank ten, you know, you can cook this and this and this. You no, know, you can cook. And then I don't know, stew of the giant frog. Okay, and then uh, fillet of the clacker. No, it's better clacker's fillet. And such. Okay. So how do I do this? To uh, how do I do this in the current data? Because in the current data, I mean, if we can consider the primary skill only. Okay, the primary skill only. I know that I need a specific minimum skill. Is this maximum or min? I don't know. Minimum points. Ah, from 0 to 100. Yeah, so from z So, for example, I know that at 0 I can do this, but at 10 I can do this. And at 40 I can do this, and at 20 I can do this. The problem is that this can become millions. Because today I'm not very organized uh, for, a, for a list, you know. They are just... Uh, hmm. What do you think about it? Because the problem is that this is a process. Right? It is a process. And then for this particular process... That is called. Uh, does this process have a number? Yes, this process a number is, for example, 354. It's called shape. 
and then 354 is applied here and I can make a result item which is this one oh my god oh my god I don't know if I can do this in an easy, easy way I mean we could consider only the final items or we could select manually I think the easiest probably is we can select manually a number of items you know so fuck reading it from the database so we don't read it from the database because it is too complex we just select manually together something here which is just a description What if, what if we do it manually? What if, we, what if this is just a text that me and you create based on what is in the database and it's not an, an exhaustive list, it's not a full list, it's just, um, it's, just, it's just an example of the main items you will be able to create. Just an example, just, yeah, just a manual description. I think is easier. Otherwise, we become crazy in extracting the data. We never be correct, and then you will have a lot of a lot of lot of trash. Like for example, you will have all the intermediate items as a, as a, as a data. So I think a manual description would be probably be much better. And maybe we can place a disclaimer at the top saying that crafting is so complex that we <laughs> let's say that the, the data the data here is just for reference you know it's just for reference because uh we are creating crafting every day so it's, it's so much data i mean so much items that we cannot really guarantee you know that i would like to keep it simple and maybe in the future if we can we will, we will also extract it from the database, but maybe in the future, not now. So we could have something like that with the different icons or what we want to put there, I don't know. Um, Right. You could put some cooking stuff and say, um, yeah, and have a description of the of the main, having a description of the main things. And maybe in the future we will improve it. Okay, so. I'm not saying that it is impossible. I'm not saying we would not do it. I'm just thinking to what we can do in the in the short term, you know, because uh, if we try to change it all now, I mean, it will take too much time. So would be would be too too hard to do. So I want to keep it realistic. I want to keep it. Uh, I want to keep it realistic, so that we don't shoot for the moon and then we cannot do anything. Because like this is already a big improvement. Okay, it makes more of a sense of progression, and it gives you more meaning. You know, for uh, for. Uh, what the fuck?
Yeah, maybe we can choose the icon based on the, you know, the, the piece that you are. Just trying to get a visual of, of how it look, but it will be similar to all the other windows. Very similar. Right? So for some reason, maybe this one starts from 20, I don't know, because there is a different calculation, you know, and this is 45 and this is 80. It's perfectly okay. Right? And you will have your rank because obviously you want to know which rank you are. So it will be the same cooking rank 35, armor making rank 50, etc. So you will know your rank, you will know the different major milestones. And these major milestones can be also just the manual text. Just the manual text. I think you should decide the ranks based on what we have in the data right now. So just don't change the data, no? So to keep the data as it is, just checking the data, like for example, when you can make uh, the torso armor, or when you make the gloves or the boots, exactly like I'm on, I have on the screen now, right? So those major milestones, you pick the ranks from the database, so from what we have, and then we put the icon here. Even if it's 47, we put 47, we don't care. But don't change the data. Obviously, don't change. I mean, the data should stay as it is in the database now. Right? So I want to change the data. I just want to adapt the this window to keep, let's say, the right. The right sequence, no? So to, to show to the people what they can do at the different levels. So this is what I want to do. So this will basically be a huge grid. A huge grid for our uh, Unreal Engine thing. The question was also if all jobs are actually crafting. Alchemy, armor making, axe making, baking, blacksmith, blades making, bow making, brewing, cooking, drawing, fishing. Uh, fishing is not exactly crafting. Or you can craft fishing pole. Huh? How many milestones? Uh, I would say we can go for. I think we can go for uh, maximum 10, maximum 10 for now, okay, and then maybe we refine it, but I would say if in this window there are 4 and then we get 4 or 5 and then you scroll and you find other 3 or 4, I think is more than enough. I would say number between 5 and 10 I think is a good number for now. But five will be okay as well. Eh? Four or five will be okay as well. But no more than no more than ten for sure, because uh, otherwise uh, it's too much work to create descriptions and glass blowing, harvesting. Like harvesting is not really. Maybe we should split this by crafting, and everything that is not crafting goes under various. I mean, I don't know how they are split today in the database. Probably there is a category. Yeah, I think there is a category in the database. I think there is a category. Yeah, there is a category, so we can change it quickly. There is a category in the database, so um, I think it would be nice to have, let's say, everything that is a crafting skill under cra under jobs or crafting, 
and then values what is what is values values is like backstab body development climb empathy find traps hide in shadow okay is there a million other skills lock picking musical instrument pickpocket writing set traps swimming okay hmm that is quite a bit eh we have a lot of skills in this game not all are implemented, but anyway. Yeah, but for example, pickpocket will be used, set traps will be used, lock picking will be used, that in shadow as well. And these are not swimming, these are not crafting. These are not crafting. None of these are crafting. Empathy is used for the pets. Yeah. But I think jobs should be, yeah, I think jobs should be everything that is crafting. Jobs. Everything that is crafting should go under jobs, I think. This is my, my thinking. So I would rename it crafting. But, okay. And then various. Various, I have no idea. Various for now, we keep it as a list. Uh, I don't think we can do much about this. So various, we keep it as a, as a list. There is a guy always crafting here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, what else? Mm, okay, I think was good. I think was good. I think uh, uh, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. So we're going to change the stats window to be a real full window, full screen that you can exit from it just by pressing escape or something. I mean. We can exit quickly if something happens, but it's full screen. Because again, the, the idea behind it is that when you are in the stats window, you are in a quiet place. You are not going to upgrade your stats. Now, what else do we need? We need a way to, we need a way to progress though, because at the moment, can I train myself in something? Uh, personal banking, storage. This is, uh, Arnquist is not a, is not a trainer of anything. Fuck you. Trader? Arnquist is not a trainer of anything. Strange. No, it's not a trainer. Um, okay. Searching a train. Can you give me a name of a trainer? A name of a trainer. Uh, like the lady in Ojoveda for the Dark Way. What is the name? Um, 
Chilean. Uh, there is a there is a lady. The oh, I cannot find a train. I'm I'm clicking on NPCs. One Evelyn, I think it's Evelyn. Come on, give me a th I'm clicking on NPCs one after another and none of them is an NPC. Uh, sorry, none of them is a trainer. None of them is a... Oh, this one is a trainer. No, there's none of them. Why I cannot find any trainers for anything? Is the query okay? Because I'm starting to think that the query is not okay. Percival is a trainer, okay. Let me search this guy. He's training agility. Right? But I wanted I wanted someone to train a, to train a, to train another skill, not not a stat a skill. Percival is a trainer. I am not sure if my database, I mean the query I'm using, is actually correct. He's training only stats. Well, it's, it's a bit the same. I mean, it's, it's a bit the same. If it's a stats or a skill, it's a bit the same. It's a bit the same. Because anyway, for us, it doesn't change anything. It's just the fact that it goes here and it allows me to, to click. I mean, it allows me to buy, you know, to buy a skill, to buy a rank. Mm, because this one we don't have at the moment in our uh, UI mockup. Huh? Ah, you are right. We removed the skill trainer some time ago. Ah, right, 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 right. We removed the skill trainers because you are training while you are using the skill, right? So we did that change. Yes, 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 I remember. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are training automatically when you are uh, when you are using the skill. That's why I was not finding the trainers. It was impossible that I couldn't find the trainers. I see. Also for magic, we do the same. So also when you are using magic, you are uh, you are training your skill. Only for stats. Mm, only for stats. Only for stats. The 
This thing is supposed to go up. This is not very easy to understand, boys. This thing is not very easy to understand. What was the explanation of all these colors? Because I don't remember them at all. Um, with an explanation in the player guide, right? Because we have to move that to our uh, game base X. Mm, and skills. No. So, yellow green is the theoretical training portion of the level which you need to buy from an NPC before you have both the training color is yellow after you have training bar this turns green okay blue is show how many progression points you have if your blue bar is beyond the end of the yellow bar you have enough points to spend on buying the level of training red is a measure of the remaining amount of practice needed for each new skill level Yeah. So when the green fills up the red, you are fine. When the green fills up the red, you are fine. I think um I don't know. So, but now to us, uh, sorry, just a question. So, for the for the ones that we are not using trainers anymore, right? This means that all the bars are always fully red. Like here, right? So if I'm at level zero, is automatically fully learned or whatever. I mean, it's it, it just the red, and then it gets covered by green until you reach the end, and then I gain one rank, right? So it's just two colors. Is that is that assumption okay or not? So that you have. And I'm sorry, the stream is delayed like 10 or 20 seconds. So whatever I ask, you are, you you are, you will hear in 20 seconds from now. I don't know if I like this system, you know. I mean, I think uh, I don't want to change it dramatically, but I want to make it in a way that people can easier understand, can understand it in an easier way where they are and when they are going, and where they are going. At the moment, I mean, the, the red and green seems okay. So, for example, light armor. Light armor, I have very little at the moment. I'm only rank one. So, I think I will move this bar, you know, kind of easily. So, I can even set my rank, set skill light armor to zero. Set skill me light armor to zero. So in this case I have zero of light armor, so I really suck at light, light armor. And this means that if I put on mm, 
Mm, do I have a place? I have a lot of armor here. Yeah? Why have all this armor? By the way? Uh, this one is the. Uh -huh. Modify target remove. What was it? Yes, modify target remove. Just destroying a few items because I have too many. Let me just destroy some items. Okay. So I have some space now. Uh, so for example, leather torso armor. Okay, leather torso. So if I go here and I put this, let me remove all this other armor. Do I have any leather armor here? Not. Okay. One second. Huh? Uh, so if I do item leather boots, leather gloves, leather pants, okay. Okay, so I put on my leather thingies. Am I using it or because I'm a crayon I cannot use it? Mm. Wasn't there a restriction that crayon cannot use light armor or is, is that gone? Because I, I can put it on, but I don't remember if you had the restriction about, about light armor and fan. Hello, Mr. Clacker. Probably that I'm invisible now. I'm invisible because I'm a, I'm a play. I'm not like a play. I mean, I'm because it's me. Let me do something else. No, I just wanted to get a better understanding, you know, of how this works actually. Just wanted to get a better understanding of how it works now. Let me just log in with another player. Let me just log in with a with a normal thingy. I mean, it will be still me, but uh, it will not be me me. I don't want to be seen in game as doing shit and then as talent. Yeah, I just wanted to get, I mean, to understand if we have to design, to redesign that window, right? How would you redesign it? That's the question. How would you redesign that window to be as simple and as satisfactory as possible? 
as simple as as satisfactory as possible for the people so that they get a feeling of where they are they get a feeling of which kind of progression they are making and what they should do next you know so that's the main point what they should do next Okay, now I look like a normal player. I change the color of my... I change the color of my thingy. The difference is that I can spawn items, which is always good. Okay, now I have my leather armor, and if I go here under uh, combat, my light armor is level 5. Why is level 5? No idea. Is it already level 5? Okay. My light armor is level 5. Just trying to reach a uh, monster, any monster, okay, like this. So if I attack this guy, hopefully he will not kill me. Nice, I killed him in one hit. Uh, so whenever he, whenever he hits me, I should probably do it without a falcon, otherwise I'm too strong. Which kind of characteristic I have? Uh, I'm kind of strong, agility is a bit high. Let's put it to 18. Just lowering a bit my agility. I've been penalized by GM. Oh my god, really? Can this guy attack me? Doesn't attack me at all. Yeah, so it tells you that I'm gaining practice. You see this green bar is going up, so I'm gaining practice point in, uh, in light armor. I'm also dying, by the way, so maybe I should change my weapon and kill this guy. Ah! I'm dying! Does he follow me? No. I'm eating million apples. Hmm. But anyway. So the basic of this is that every skill is anyway fully red and then it becomes green when I practice, right? And when you reach the level of practice needed, it becomes fully red again and you gain one rank. So this is as simple as that, correct? The difference is that with stats, we still have the old system, so it's a bit more complex. Even if I see we don't have any more the blue and the, and the thing, right? Like it was here. Did we simplify that as well one day or another? Because I don't remember. For the stats, did we simplify it so there is no more like it was here with the with the green and with the yellow and the blue? The 
because I or because I have to train them. I have zero training on it. Probably because I have zero training on it. Mm, that's probably why. If I go to this Percival guy. Hello, Percival. How are you today? Can you train me? I don't have enough PP to train. Oh my god. That's pretty bad. I need to keep that rat and come back. Like I, need, I really need to kill that rat and come back. That's probably the only way for me. So are the stats having, uh, yeah, because I'm trying to understand how I have to design that thing, you know, and um, um, hmm, hmm, I'm um, just trying to understand how to how to redesign the window if we should make it because in our in our design here at the moment we don't have we don't have a way to train right we don't have a way to train So at the moment you use, you go up. But for stats and skill, for stats, there is no easy way to say that you are using agility, you are training agility, you are, you know, and that I understand. Um, I don't know, we could... We could we could completely remove the stats, you know, and just go with skills and change all our formula to use only the skills. That would be the easiest way to do it. If you completely remove the stats and you are only using the skills and change the formulas, it's done. Is done. Uh, what you will miss, you will miss. I think you will miss nothing. You will only miss the fact that typical role-playing game, pen and paper, has discount skills because you do checks on these skills. You know? So you do check on agility, check on strength, and also we will miss all this idea that I just added now of having specific specific uh, um, effects you know specific uh, actions enabled at certain levels which is anyway good I think it gives you a sense of progression it gives you a sense of yeah and they can yeah and they link to yeah they link to hit points and yeah, you are right. They link to so much stuff that is impossible to remove. Okay, we can keep them. Uh, so the only point is that today the other the other things we train by using, which is pretty cool. So we don't need to go to any trainer for anything. For these ones, we need to train. So we need to have in the UI a way to train right and at the moment in the old UI if I go back to Percival uh, the way to train is to click on this train button then select your skill and then buy let's say a percentage of that skill or buy the full rank right or by the full rank and you have this small barrier that I think no one notices nearly impossible to see 
which is the uh, progression towards the next progression point right and when you have one progression point you can um, yeah so what do we do we place what do we do we place a panel here with that I think you should right we should place a panel here with all that stuff so we should place a panel with uh, for example for example well first of all we should place this because I said it was not very relevant but some somewhere we should place it so I don't, I don't think we should remove it right so this thing should go here as big as we can unfortunately I will not be able to fill it up with blank I think because it's made of million different colors ah ah okay I can use a better painting program you say yeah that's true I could I could, but I don't. Okay, anyway, we should have uh, this mana bars and thingy bars and not bars. Okay, so we will have our bars for stamina and anything else. We will have this. And we will have our health and stamina and things. Yes, we will have. And then what? then what and then so this okay we, we will have here somewhere let's say we have it here then when you want to train then when you want to train what do you do you I mean this concept of training do you like the concept of training by pieces or training fully I mean why do I have to train by pieces does training by pieces give me any advantage I don't think so So what is the what is the advantage of buying just a piece? What's the point of buying just a piece? Spawning money is not permitted. Why spawning money is not permitted? I mean, okay. I have to do a word me award money trias two thousand. You have been awarded the trias by a GM. Thank you, baby. Um No advantage to pieces, right? Because you, you get an advantage only when you, when you... So why we have the piece? So let's just remove the piece. Let's just remove this buy skill. Just remove it. Just confusing people. Just remove it. Let's just use one that is buy skill rank. Okay, so... You will have your progression. So you will have your health... Stamina, mana, stamina, okay. Then you will have your uh, uh, progression points. Progression point is nice because it gives you satisfaction to see how many progression points you have. So should should keep it. Progression points. And you will say like, I don't know. 
35. And then you should have, yes, a kind of a bar, a kind of a progress bar that tells you how much the next progression costs, right? So it should be like next. next progression point and there should be a bar of some exactly like the bar that we have now in game right right you like this and that's it when you have now the only problem is The only problem is, is that uh, the only problem is that when when you then want to buy, you know, when you want to buy something, you don't know, which is one of the issues that we have in the current game. You don't know how much it is. How much it is for the next progression point, say right? how much how many I mean if I go here and I know that I have 80 agility and I want to go to 81 I don't know how much is needed you don't have PP to train okay I don't have PP to train which is fine but can I have some PPs no I cannot Cannot award myself some PPs, huh? Uh, can I award myself some of that? No, I really need to go and kill that rat. I mean, I can. Let's go. Hello, Mr. Clacker. I need to kill you because I need progression points now you are nearly killing me before so what we'll do I will set my strength skill to 400 let's see what you do now aha uh -huh. I have 400 strength let's see how you fight now my friend hmm Doing damage. Oh, I killed him. I have one progression point. Nice. I like to have one progression point. I need another one. Oh, you respond? Uh, you respond, my friend. Oh, you're dead. No, you're dead. No, I need another one. I need another one. Oh, it's you. You were the one that were trying to kill me before? I don't know. I think it was you. Let's fight now. Mmm. 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 You're dead, huh? I only have one progression point. Fuck it. Yeah, I want all the all your items. I want all your items. Oh, there is a crystal here. Oh, very nice. I pick it up. This guy? No way. Ah, uh, ah, uh, fighting. Ah, uh. what's that? I have two progression points. Yeah. I have two progression points. I'm progressing. I'm doing stuff. Yes, I want this carapace. Yes. I'm doing stuff. I'm progressing. Yay, I jump into this water. Mm, I clean myself. Mm. This looks very shitty. It's not cleaning myself. Mm, okay. Okay, so we have our progression. We have two progression points, right? So now the point is... When I go back to Percival, he's a very nice guy, but he's a bit costly, you know, so he's, uh... I go back to him, and we say, hello, Percival, you know, always here, right? Never move, huh? Mm, must be a boring life. So, if I want to train with you, I want to train agility, and I will buy a rank. Hmm... 
It did something though. Uh, if you do buy rank, it, you, it uses just the. I mean, fuck it. Buy rank? I mean, it just used the piece. I didn't get my rank. I mean, it's a bit green, but just like a, a slight, a small slice of green. It's a super small slice of green. It's not, I mean, so when you do buy skill rank, even if you cannot buy the full rank, it's just buying a piece. That's very bad. I think you should not do it. What do you think, Tua? I mean, why we are doing this? Why we are spending all the PPs if you cannot level up? Because maybe the player wants to know how many, you know. So wants, how, how much? How much does it cost to level to the next rank? How many? How many progression points are needed to the next rank? Can I cannot know this? I want to know this. Because maybe if it's too much, I decide to train strength, or I decide to train something else. You know? So what I'm saying is that if you click to, if you click on agility, oops, if you click on agility. And you want and you want to train and you want to train it, right? Uh, and you want to train it. Do you do you have here like a box that says you something that tells you something that tells you like there are eight you need eight progression points to rank up? Should it say should it say something like? Agility rank three, and then and then something like and then something like uh, thirty progression points to rank up. Oh my God! Please make it white. Yes, and then like forty. Three progression points needed to rank up. It will not be very nice to see. What do you think? What, what do you, what, where should we place this information? Should we place it? Should no? Should we should not place it? Should we have this information anywhere, or we should just not have this information at all? And you just click on it, and or should we have it like here at the bottom? Like if you select agility, maybe we should have it here at the bottom. You know, if you select agility, agility is clickable. And if you click it, it gives you the information at the bottom here. Like you see your 35 progression points, and then you see X progression points needed for agility. Probably better, huh? Probably better. So if you click there, if you click on agility, here it will say for agility, 43 progression point needed. You think you think it makes sense, or uh, we don't or we don't need this at all? Should we skip this at all? So you click on agility and you see this. You click on strength and you see the strength. You just click on endurance and you see this, right? I think it's, I think I like it. I think I like to see how many progression points I need to rank up a specific ability. Right? What do you think? What do you think?
instead of these arrows should we have should we have just an empty progress bar uh, like an empty an empty progress bar that is showing you how much is needed and then you will fill it up as you go so like we have in the other you know in the other window that is uh, scaled based on the amount of skill you need to get instead of just an arrow or something because this will slowly fill up right this will slowly fill up as, as you gain ranks it will fill up so probably it's better to have it this way Probably it's better to have it this way. Okay, I think this window is done. I mean, I think we should do it this way. Full screen. With stats, faction, combat, magic, jobs, and various. Do you agree? Approved? Not approved? Need your help here, eh? Because we are, uh, we are deciding something that will cost us time. We are deciding something that will cost us time. I need your help. You need to vote. I need you to vote. I need you to vote. The stats window is this one. The stats window will look like this. So divided in six stats, each stat will have his rank, the current rank. You will have one icon for the major steps of that uh, rank. You will have a scroll bar to see all the others. Uh, you will see the for each rank, you, on each icon you can click. And you can actually see what is the what that rank gives you. Gives you. You can see your health, stamina, mana, whatever. You can see the progression points, the next progression points, and the agility. And and then for if you click on the specific, if you click on agility on a rank, if you click in any in any area here, you will get this additional information at the bottom that tells you how much progression points you need to rank up right this is how it will be structured I want to know if you like it or if you have something to say about it and if you say something to say about it you should tell me so they change it understand understand in the middle instead of these arrows they will be the progression bar so they will tell you where you are in that progression I mean where you are in that uh, particular uh, you know skill
So like for example if you are I can color it, you know. Just trying to give you a visual of it. Just trying to give you a visual on how of how it may look. Then we have to see how we can make it in uh, in our UI that I don't know yet. But for now, just trying to make a decent visual. Right? It will look a bit like this. You vote? Only one guy voted. Mm. Why are you not listening? Only one guy voted? It's not acceptable. This is not acceptable. Okay, anyway. I think it's good. I think I will do it this way. I think I will do it this way. Um, now we have to understand in Unreal how to do this kind of widgets because these will be all widgets with their own, you know, Inputs, number, I think we can do a generic widget, which is this one, that then we replicate everywhere. And then we will have a window that is made of a bunch of these widgets, right? Yes. So we have to decide, desi design the basic widget, and then we will design all the, all the window. But the first thing would be to design this widget this one just the agility one then we can reuse it if you make it parametric enough it is kind of initialized by an array of numbers and icons and other stuff i think it will be very easy okay i think we can do that after dinner though because now or tomorrow I Oh, if I will see you later today, depends. But I think we need a good progress at least in designing all of this. I would like to send out this information to some other guys in my team because I don't think I should decide it only by myself. I think it should be uh, decided by other people as well. Um, but to me, it looks fine. To me, it looks fine, and I think it will enhance the it will enhance the current uh, the, the current experience. You know, it will enhance the current experience where we have only this small you know this small window for your starting skills. I mean, it doesn't really feel like you're having a lot of satisfaction in increasing your skills just looking at this window. I think that. You can you can be more satisfied by looking at this window. I mean this one and see exactly what happens so the next ranks and something will happen, and how much you need and all of that, right? I think is I think it's better. Did someone else vote? You're not voting. Why are you not voting? You're not looking at the chat. Why? You're not listening. Why? Why? Okay. I think that for today, uh, I have to go to dinner now, but um, I think we need a good progress. I really like this. So we'll make a new email, send this out to the team and see what they think about it. I hope they like it. If they like it, I will proceed to to implement it. Okay? 
And with that said, I think we can call it a day, or anyway, call it an afternoon. I will leave you with some playing shift music and with the stats window, because I think it's important for our future. I will leave it with the stats window on and some music. And then I will speak to you either later today after dinner or tomorrow evening. Okay?